What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Show and Tech. So Black Friday's passed and now we're kind of looking forward to the Boxing Day sales that are going to be coming up. And one huge target that I expect to gain a lot of traction and generate a lot of sales is the budget over the ear noise canceling headphones by Sony. So today we're going to be taking a look at these guys here, which is the Sony WH-XB900Ns. So these ones here are a step down from the M3s in terms of not only the build quality, but also a couple of features that are packed into the box. Um, these ones here I was able to get on Cyber Monday. The price that I was able to get these for was, if I'm not mistaken, $165 Canadian when these are regularly priced at over $250 Canadian. So there was a huge savings there and I would only expect that the amount of savings that I saw for Black Friday slash Cyber Monday is going to be the same, if not greater, when it comes to the Boxing Day sales. So these again are a budget option for someone who's looking for over-the-air headphones but still wants uh, that noise canceling functionality without having to pay over $400 for slightly better build quality, very similar sound, and a couple more features. So without wasting any more time, let's quickly unbox this and start running some tests. A couple of things just looking at the box. They are rated for 30 hours of battery life and they give you both Google Assistant and Alexa capabilities built in. Um, one thing about the Bluetooth that I've been hearing, there's a common misconception, these are not Bluetooth 5 compatible headphones. These are actually Bluetooth 4.2. So if you don't know the difference between Bluetooth 4.2 and Bluetooth 5, essentially uh, 5 has two times the distance and is able to package more data into each of its packets. So you would expect that the quality on a 5.0 Bluetooth device would be higher. And obviously you'd have the ability to move much further away from the source device. Um, however, having 4.2 for this device here shouldn't be an issue. Um, very few times will you be so far away from your device that you're going to see any problems with that. Um, flipping over, we have the hands-free calling option. So Sony did put some effort into having a pretty decent mic this time around for phone calls. 10 minutes of charge will give you 60 minutes of playtime. As we said before, the music playtime is a maximum of 30 hours. You've got the voice assistant. It is USB type C charging. It includes a headphone 3.5 mil jack in the box. So if you run out of juice, you have a device that has a 3.5 millimeter jack, then you are able to use that to power the device and play it. And then instead of having a hard carrying case, you get this soft carrying pouch. So ripping this open, and I didn't even take the plastic off. All right, so we've got the headphones just here. Uh, easy setup instructions. Number one says to download the app power on your headphones and connect by the app. Um, so we'll do that in a moment. Here are the headphones. So we'll look at those in just a second, place them to the side. Underneath, as mentioned before, you have your cables that are included. So we have the USB type C charging cable, as well as the audio jack. And then finally at the very bottom, you have this carrying pouch. So the pouch isn't going to really protect the device from anything other than maybe scratches. Looking at the headphones themselves, um, they came folded in the box like so. If I'm not mistaken, you are able to also fold and store them just like this. So they fold down like that if you prefer it when you are um, putting it in your travel bag. And then again, they can also fold down flat this way and fit relatively easily into the pouch. The material on these guys, just feeling it right now, I wouldn't really recommend wearing these to the gym, which is what I used to wear my previous Sony's for. It feels like this material is definitely going to hold sweat and probably wear down over time. So this might be a set of headphones that you'd use mostly for your commute probably not on very hot days. 
again, to reduce the amount of sweat that you are putting onto these cups. But they do have a very nice feel to them. Um, I can imagine that these would be very comfortable on the ears. The headband portion at the top is also made of that same soft touch fabric. And then the top has a nice faux leather finish and feel to it. Overall, it doesn't feel too bad for a pair of $250 headphones. Um, if you've ever played with the M3s, you know that the M3s do have a higher quality finish on it, but for our intents and purposes and for the price that we paid, you would really expect this to feel and look the way that it does. It still doesn't feel like these are cheap or that they're gonna really break on you. Um, it feels like they are pretty durable and will be able to stand up to a little bit of abuse over the course of a couple of years. So I'm excited to download the apps on both of my phones and check out how these sound. Okay, so once you have the headphones powered on and the apps downloaded, you'll see these three options. One, to register through Bluetooth settings. Second, register with One Touch Connection NFC. And register a wired headphones from the list. So I'm gonna try and do it through Bluetooth. Continue pressing the power button of the headphones for about seven seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And so now we hit next. Bluetooth settings, we should see, there they are down here. So WH XB 900N connected for calls and audio and 70% battery out of the box. If we go back into the app, we can see the headphones there have been registered. Okay, so in the actual app itself, once you've done all of the setups, you have your headphones up here, you have the battery life just there, um, and then it gives you the option to turn on and off the ambient sound control and noise cancel from here. You can also play with the sound position, so I don't know why you'd really want to do that, but if you wanted to simulate having the music playing behind you or to your left, right, or front, you can play with that as well. Obviously the best method would be just to leave it dead center. Then you also have the equal equalizer settings right here, and it shows what my last song is or the song that I'm playing currently on Spotify right now. And I haven't even played a song yet, to be honest. It was just able to pick that up immediately once I had the headphones connected. So you do have a lot of options here. We don't necessarily need to go through them all right now. Just wanted to show you a little bit of the functionality of the app. Okay, so I've been playing with these headphones for a little bit and I feel like a hype beast right now. It's been a very long time since I've listened to music through over-the-ear headphones. So I took a second to try these out, um, not only through Bluetooth, but then I also plugged in the 3.5 millimeter jack into my iPhone to test that out too, just to see if I could notice the sound quality difference. And I gotta say that these headphones slap. I don't know how to explain it other than to say that they just sound amazing. It, it's very difficult to wanna go back to wearing any form of earbuds after hearing how good these sound. And I know that because I've been kind of far removed from listening to music in this way, that that's probably what's altering my opinion a little bit right now what's swaying me to say that these sound amazing but you really can't beat this sound one thing that i can say about these that is a negative is even in just that short amount of time that i was playing with them um, so i listened to about four tracks off of astro world from my android through bluetooth and then i listened to those same four tracks from my iphone through the 3.5 millimeter jack and I could already feel my ears and like the side of my face starting to sweat a little bit. But overall, music sounds great. If you're interested to see how they look while they're on, I'll throw them on for you. Now, one major issue that I tend to have with over-the-ear headphones, especially at this time of the year when I'm growing my hair out, is that they never seem to sit properly on top of my head. Um, I can never seem to, because I do have a, a pretty large head, I could never seem to get them to not only extend far enough so that they fit and sit on my ears comfortably, but with these ones here, for whatever reason, the design of them is um, very good for people that have large heads like myself. So this fits perfectly. They're not even fully extended as you can see, which is usually another issue that I have when I used to use 
like skull candies for example and even my last set of sony over the ear headphones i had to almost fully extend them in order to get them on my head and it just looked weird so these guys here as you can see barely any extension but overall a great fit so i'll give you a quick rotation so you can see how they look from different angles so this is from the right and if we rotate around here it is again if i turn around completely this is what you would get so overall a great fit the pressure that these put on your ears doesn't seem to be too fatigue inducing however one thing that i can say which i did mention before earlier in the video was that due to the fabric of the cups themselves just playing those songs back to back to back i started to feel some moisture building up and my ears became very hot so these headphones as I said, probably not ideal for the gym. You're probably going to, if you're on a long flight, want to kind of air out a little bit and give yourself an opportunity to cool off. But as far as the overall comfort for short, you know, one hour in a nice, cool environment listening periods, then you should be fine. One final thing to mention that kind of caught me off guard was the volume settings on these. So they do have touch controls on the right in the form of swiping up for volume up, swiping down for volume down, forward to skip track, uh, backwards to rewind track or go back to the beginning slash back to a previous track and then double tapping for play and pause. So the volume out of the box doesn't match the volume on your device. So I found that I had my Android device set all the way to max volume and the volume that was coming through the headphones seemed to be very low. So for anyone that buys these and you're kind of confused as to why it doesn't sound as loud as you'd want, you just have to swipe up on these a couple of times. It'll give you that notification once you get to max volume. Um, and then from then on, you could use your phone as the master volume and everything will be fine. But overall, these do get extremely loud. I don't really see any situations where I'd want this at max volume due to that noise canceling. Speaking of the noise cancel, um, it was very interesting testing the headphones out in this room. Sometimes I tend to forget how loud my fan is because I'm always in here and I just get used to the sound. But by not having the sound of my fan while I was listening to music, and even when I paused the music, having that sound drowned out, when I took the headphones off, I was kind of confused and wondering what that noise was because of how great the noise canceling is on these. These are far better than the noise canceling on the AirPods Pros. For anyone that's wondering, I don't think that the noise cancel on in-ear buds will match the noise cancel on over the ear headphones for quite some time. So if that's something that you've been wondering about or might hinder your decision, then absolutely these guys will give you the much better sound cancel. And so I know it was relatively quick, but that's really all the time that it took to figure out just how great these headphones are. If you are able to get these at the price that I got them, um, again, that being $169 Canadian, then I would absolutely grab these without any hesitation if you are in the market for a new pair of over-the-ear headphones. There's absolutely no reason why you would need to go up to the uh, more expensive XM3s when you've got these ones kicking around. These will definitely drop in price again for Boxing Day. I mean, I almost guarantee it. Very few times do you see a sale for Black Friday that doesn't again pop up in some form um, during Boxing Day and over the course of the holidays. If this video was helpful to you in any way, feel free to hit that thumbs up and that subscribe because us small channels, we need love too. So as always, much love you guys. Thank you for watching. Throwing up two of them and I'll catch you in the next one.